Hi everybody, Dhaman Mehta here and thank you for once again joining me on my journey as I go through my favorites list on fanfiction.net. Um, again, I know it's been a while but I gotta, I've worked hard, you know, I've been working and stuff, things have been going on. Uh, I got distracted because another story that I hadn't actually, uh, another long ass story that I hadn't read in a while updated and I decided to reread the entire thing which took me a week so yeah even though so many of these stories were actually on the shorter end this time god I feel bad but whatever I've got seven stories here so let's dive in uh, let's dive into these stories as always later on you can read any of these and the links are in the description if you want to give it a look so feel free and let's dive in with the first one being the Mirror of Erised by Pitry. And uh, this is a Harry Potter fic that's not a time travel fic, but in, uh, instead it's a, like the, the description implies that like, oh, the only way you could defeat a bad guy is if you've done it before. So that implies time travel, but it's not. It, what it is is it's, it's a dimension hopping fic where basically two sets of like Harry Potters and a couple of their friends swap dimensions. Um, it's an interesting premise, uh, but I was kind of confused by the writing. Like even though it says it's a straight swap and like the it kind of implies it's a straight swap, but then the the actions are like the basically the dialogue kind of doesn't see it or at least maybe I was just reading it wrong but it kind of seemed to imply that it was actually like basically Harry A went to dimension B and then Harry B went to dimension C something or something like that like kind of it it didn't really feel like a one like one to one swap uh, the confusion, and that did made me kind of bounce off this story just from, uh, you know, getting invested in it since I was so confused I just didn't get into it. And the other rest of the parts of the story just were didn't help pull me in either. I just kept feeling adrift, waiting for it to click, and it just never did. I'd say give it a look, but if you're not getting into everything by chapter three, give it a skip, and it's not going to stay on my list. Next is uh, Tales from the Cutting, Loop, Cutting Room Floor, Harry Potter, by Ed Stargazer. And this is another uh, collection of one-shots, short scenes, and ideas that the author had, uh, focused on pure Harry Potter stories here, no crossovers, with an eye for Harry-Hermione pairings, which is my personal favorite pairing, honestly. Uh, I feel like it should have been the canon pairing, but let's move on. Um, about half of these are basically really short jokes, while the other half are like big revolution uh, revelation scenes and filled in like you know big tropey fix that don't exist. Um, either way, they are suitably entertaining for the short amount of time that you have to like really invest in them, and I could see myself coming back to this again and again. I enjoyed them, and as, as with most of these collection things, I enjoyed I enjoyed a lot more than I didn't. I wouldn't mind coming back to this, and it's going to stay on my list. Uh, number three is more Harry Potter. <laughs> with Exclusion by, oh my god, that name, Maith, Maith Oriel Reyna, I think. Uh, so basically this is uh, takes place during Goblet of, Goblet of Fire, and there's like this old, un, like old ass rule gets pulled up and does to basically kick people out of the house if they're feeling bad. So the, the Gryffindors kick Harry out of Gryffindor as well as Hermione and the twins and Neville because they supported him. And the other people after they're kicked out realize they don't really need a house to um, be okay. You know? Um, this story it's incomplete. Uh, however, it does like breeze through the actual events of Go Goblet of Fire pretty damn quickly. 
Um, if it had finished, I would have called it a great quick retelling of the book. But sadly, as it's an incomplete and ending in the middle of the third task, the payoff to the story doesn't really uh, doesn't show up. There's no payoff, and the rest of it is just too mundane to intrigue people by itself. Like, you know, it's basically missing the climax and denouement of of the book. So it's like if you're reading Goblet of Fire and then it just stops. But also takes out a bit, a couple of the other intriguing bits that would have that would have been there. You know, it, it's like don't get me wrong. It sets it sets up a few showdowns that would have been interesting if the year had concluded. But it leaves you hanging, and as such, it's not enough to stay on this list by itself. It's gonna fall off my list. Another Harry Potter story is next with. White Owl by White Tiger Wolf. <laughs> and this is a femme Harry story where she goes through some changes during the fe the basilisk fight and then after a couple more years hightails it out of England and ends up in Bayville during the X-Men Evolution stuff because uh, that's a crossover and ends up in a relationship with Rogue. And what this story is is basically a soap opera that's focused on two two relationships, um, which are Harry, uh, Femme Harry and Rogue, and Nightcrawler and Wanda. And you know, there's a couple of battle scenes, but that's very much not the main focus. The main focus is the relationships, and the because of the short length of these chapters, there's not a lot. The, the author doesn't actually get very far in, in expanding of themselves. Like we get some drama, some dramatic reveals, some starts of relationships and some healing, but again, it's all like start, 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 and there's no conclusions. There's no actual like resolutions for a lot of these things, and it just doesn't feel co. It does it. The lack of just it's. I, f I feel like really dumb saying this, but like it's not that the story itself is incomplete, but it doesn't feel complete or nothing and nothing in the story feels complete. And I guess just pure this kind of sap this kind of relationship drama, uh, which is kind of like wiffle wa like waffly is just not enough for me to stay in the story. So it's going to stay off my list. Um, next, uh, num next one, next one, let's just go next one. Next one, <laughs> I didn't have a second. Next one is N of the Dead by Orange Backpack. And this is a Naruto crossover with High School of the Dead. Uh, I like High School of the Dead. I watched the anime. Um, I never got into the manga. I, I, I was interested in the manga before I heard the author died and so, and you know so the story is going to be forever incomplete so I never want I didn't want to go into it but I I thought I thought this was interesting and this Naruto is not like there's no it's kind of like a Naruto and name only situation where it's like it's a, it, there's there was no implications of actual ninja stuff going on it's just Naruto is a character in that same universe and he has a connection with Shizuka the the nurse character um, but it doesn't get very far. Like, we basically just get to the, uh, apartment scene that's basically, you know, the first night after, uh, after the outbreak, so it's, like, only, like, a couple episodes in. Again, it basically, storyline-wise, it's not very far. Uh, there would have been an interesting dynamic in play, considering how the main character, the rest of the cast, had met or seen Naruto first, and how they are introduced literally with how this the last chapter that was written was ended on like a cliffhanger. Um, and it would have been interesting, but basically, because the author never continued, this just becomes another bastion of lost potential that doesn't really have anything worth uh, like super checking out on its own currently that would force it to that would give it the legitimacy to stay on my list so it's going to fall off all right number six is uh the final book reading broken bow by crossover pairing lover 
And uh, this is a bit of a weird one. Um, this is a Percy Jackson reaction fic. Uh, if, you know, if you can tell by the title. Where um, this is a sixth book taking place after they've read the original series. And if you're wondering, based on my previous behavior of, hey, you know, you usually put prequels and sequels all together on the list. Where were the prequels? Uh, where they read the actual stories? Yeah, those don't exist. This story is a standalone by itself that just implies that this it takes place after a whole set of reading books that fix that never happened. Uh, and the story itself is uh, a story based about uh, a demigod that's not Percy Jackson or have any connection to Percy Jackson whatsoever. Like, it's basically a completely separate story just set in their universe. Um, I... And, like, the reactions are decent. Um, I actually remember I had... The, uh, originally, I used to have the original story as well as this, uh, this one on my favorites list. And I took the original story off because in my mind I was like, oh, why it seems redundant having both on when I can just have this, which is the story plus the reaction bits. Um, and I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad that I took it off. I do still like it, but I would say, uh, and I do like the reaction bits here. And I, I do think this is both a good story, both in the original story and the reaction bits. I will say, if you haven't re heard read this story before, you should probably. I will say now, you should probably read the original story first because the reaction, you know, the gods reacting cuts a little of the drama away, where you know the drama feels more impactful when it's just just the story itself. But then coming to this afterwards, I th I think this is a lot of fun. Like I think that the gods reactions are say realistic but it's like it basically just highlights some of the absurdities of how the gods react and it is just you know maybe it's a bit of them being exaggerated but they're gods everything kind of gets exaggerated like i get it i did enjoy this fic both the story and the reaction parts and it is going to stay on my list i'll probably add i think i am going to go back and just add the uh the previous one back onto my list as well they, it's not going to show up in a video but uh just for a thing, I'm going to throw the link to the original story for this as well. And uh, last but not least is, uh, yeah, no, let's go. Last but not least is Power of Revenge by Pseudocode Samurai. And this is a story of um, Naruto getting banished. And then he gets uh, revenge on a whole bunch of people after losing everything. Like, uh, really short, really simple in execution, and yet uh, it still manages to hit a few emotional beats to keep this from just being a completely forgettable power rank. You know, it's... It's, like, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about it. Like, it's very simple of, like, you know... Thing A happens, he goes on a tear, becomes OP as hell, and does it. But it, the flashbacks and like little bits of emotional beats that we get resonate well enough that you care. That it's not just a whatever, let's just kill everything fic. It gives it the little bit of matter that makes it connect with the reader, and it makes it intriguing enough to keep it in your mind, and that you'll remember the story. So I think it's still it's it's decent. It's good. It's good enough to stay in the mind, and it's going to stay on my list. And that's it for this video. Uh, I'll have the eight stories, you know, like the reading story and the actual story uh, links as well. But all links are in the description down below. But uh, yeah, let's go. Um, fan fiction status time. We've broken the 700 story mark with 703 stories now read. And still under the 50%. Now we're back under 50% with 341 of them being on my list. Staying on my list. Uh, so there we go. Uh, links, as always, to stories, my fanfiction.net profile, uh, the thread on Sufficient Velocity, where I also post all these, are all in the description. Uh, so please, as well as a playlist, if you want to just watch the videos instead. Thank you all so much for watching.
and I will see you in the next video. Take care.